Salutations, cosmonauts! So, I finally built the ship. I'm not 100% happy with it. It's still a work in progress. Sure. How about it? So, let me show you. So, here it is. Meet Doris! Put the ship builder so I can give you a better thing. So, first of all, I like the looks of this ship. And I can't take full credit for this because I took a lot of design cues from a YouTuber named Fillion Plays. So, if you were to watch this video, I forget what the video is entitled. Uh, it's one of his fairly new ship build videos. You will see a lot of similarities between Doris and one of his ships. So, uh, yeah, full credit for Fillion. So I used his ship as a sort of a starting point, or his design. Because I find modifying ships, my strengths are in modifying versus creating ships from scratch. But as it stands where I am right now, what sucks is I'm limited by my reactor. My classy reactor only has 27. So, um... Okay, let's go over what I got. Um, first of all, I had to sacrifice for uh, some mobility for my cargo space here, which is fine. I was able to relocate all my resources from the lodge and put it in my cargo bay here. And I guess what's limiting me are these engines, which are actually really freaking good. But there are better engines than this, and that could give me even more cargo. And uh, he had a landing gear right here, but it looked kind of weird. It seemed like your character would have to duck to get through here to get to the cargo bay. But what I'm thinking I'm going to eventually do is I'm probably going to move this up to about probably here. Which I think would look good. I don't want to move it up to here. Because then it just kind of looks weird. It looks like <laughs> Doris is like in shock or screaming. But for now I'm going to put this here. And when I do eventually move this up, I'm going to have this space right here where I could put another hab here. Or I could put more cargo. Like for instance, let me show you the, uh, the cargo I was looking at right here yeah this right here would fit nicely 760 or was it this one one of these one of these but anyways you can see i could add a lot more cargo here or hell even more galleons here i could put two more of these bad boys 1400 but look at that look how much of mobility i i take a hit from that but i really don't need that much cargo space and hopefully i'll get my whole um outpost situation situated and uh to where i wouldn't need so much cargo on my ship anymore anyway so for now, this is what's looking like. So it's got this really long throwaway here. It's almost hollow. So I'm not 100% sure, sure how I feel about that. I could probably add like a Deimos um, landing gear here. But I don't need it. In fact, I don't even need all these landing gear. That's another thing I could do. I could start swapping out some of these landing gear for uh, cargo bays too. That would actually fit nicely like this. But the more cargo... You add the more weight you add to your ship, which means you need more gears, but whatever, I digress. But this is the color scheme I'm going with. I want it to feel somewhat military, somewhat UC Vanguard-ish, even though the Vanguard quest is over. Some red highlights. And I got this really, really good shield, but I can't max power it right now because of my re reactor. When we get up in the air, I'll show you how my juice is deviated. And also, um, there's some passageway issues that I'm not completely happy way with happy with I'll show you that when I give you the ship tour so in fact let me just go ahead and do that now so we enter from here which is kind of cool there's Vasco he's on my ship and also I have more crew here so uh, I relocated Hadrian to my ship but I don't know if she showed up yet someone went up the who, who is that anyways okay so you enter from here and right here I have my works uh, my work um, my workstations whatever over here I have an infirmary and I've decided I wanted an infirmary so I can get this pharmaceutical lab because there's um, some meds that I actually want to start using like something called AMP that increases your movement speed and run speed or your run speed and your jump height rather and that could be really good because when I'm like scanning planets or just traversing around okay over here is my armory and this is the only hab that is uh, is of uh, um, Nova Galactic, and the only reason why I have it is first of all, I like it, it's cool, but it has mannequins, it has two mannequins, so I gotta relocate all my um, weapons from the armory from the Razor Leaf over here because it didn't automatically just transfer so, I'm gonna have that and then I have one really big ass uh, all in one half over here, so it's a, a three by one, so it's really long and I like it it's nice and open I kinda wanna swap this hab for over here though but I'm afraid of what it'll do to these corridors but anyways uh, you come in here you got a bathroom everybody needs a bathroom it's like a bathroom shower combo you got four beds 
And by the way, when Andresia follows you, you know how I got that weird thing? I'm in a, a polyamorous relationship with Sarah and um, Andresia. Well, since she's my active follower, if I sleep, she Last sleeps with me. Was... <laughs> but if I have Sarah following me and I go to sleep, then she's there for me. Oh, I've got a lot to teach you. And here's the rest of the all-in-one hab. So we got a we got a kitchen. What's weird is that the activation for the kitchen is like it's kind of weird. Like, yeah, you gotta like yeah, you gotta like point to here to be able to cook. So it's kind of goofy. But anyways, it's a really long walk all the way to the ladder. But the, this this layout on the bottom floor is actually pretty good. I like that this um. The ladder is right here, centrally located between all the habs. But then the issue comes up to this second floor here. It's fine, there's no extra ladders or anything, but Vasco is constantly bugging out and getting in my way. Like, I don't know what to do with this guy. I don't want to kick him off the ship because he gives me benefits to my ship. Vasco! This, uh, a neutronic fusion and shield systems and EMP weapons and stuff. Hadrian, I just want to have her on board because I felt bad that I that I banished her to uh, to my outpost. But looks like she's here. And what sucks is when this happens, my cockpit is down there. I can't get to my cockpit, so I have to use the console command TCL. Breaks off collision, so I can walk through them and come back here. So the vast majority of time, it doesn't bother me too much. But when I want access to my workshop or something, then it's a problem. But anyways, my one little niggle okay. with my layout is that it's such a long walk from the cockpit, or from the uh, the entry, to get to my cockpit. It's not that bad. I mean, I wish I could kind of relocate the, the ladder to be like right here. But then it's still going to be a long walkway all the way to all my other stuff down here. So I'm thinking about, this is an engineering bay, by the way. It's so I could have more crew. But, uh, oh, I didn't even show you my weapons and stuff. Let me show you my weapons. So, I got the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors. And these are cool because no matter how much power you you give them, whether it's maxed out or not, they always have a maximum fire rate. What the, the amount of power that you allocate the, the, uh, to them, what that actually dictates is how fast they reload. So that's really great. I got some missiles here. And I only have one bar here. You could fire off four missiles before it runs out of charge. And honestly, one missile, after you take out the shields, one missile will take out most ships in basically one hit. Look at that damage. Hole and shield damage. 4,000 range. So that's really good. And I got my uh, suppressors, of course. I got two of these fat boys here. The Fulminators. Uh, 58 electromagnetic damage, man. So that's really good. My shield is awesome. Look at that shield. Shield out 1,600. So um, we're going to be far more tanky, and we're going to do so much more damage. So let's take her up. If I can help you with anything, just say the word. No, nah, I'm good. Look how fast this animation is. I don't care. Aim <laughs> point reached. Orbit stable. Okay, so overall, I think this is a good-looking ship. And it's going to look even better from the rear when I change out these engines to something bigger. Something that fits this ship a little bit more. I think these are uh, Class B engines. And when I actually start spending some perks here, like engine systems, each one of these, it, it increases my engine speed here. And while boosting all enemies, disengage the player. So this is going to be awesome. I really need to get working on this. There's this other perk over here. Uh, a Neutronic Fusion. Gives me more uh, power, extra power here. So if I max this out, I'll have an extra five to my reactor, man. That's so freaking cool. And I know when you get certain crew members, they'll also uh, add to that. And this payload, this is something else I want to do. Because that max it adds 50% more capacity, so that's huge. So you don't have to add as much cargo space. I have one skill point here. Not sure where I'm going to put it. Um, there's no point in uh, trying to work on these, maxing these out, because these are limited by special projects. I gotta spend points in the special projects to fully max these out. So the immediacy of uh, getting my spacesuit design and my weapons engineering has kind of fallen off a little bit. And I'm kind of more interested in getting scanning maxed out. I know this might be not interesting to some of you guys, but I like scanning planets and doing all that. And eventually I'm going to get at least one ring in botany and zoology so I can start uh, gathering those resources. 
But a lot of the points that I want to spend is going to be here in physical. Like I want to max out stealth and then eventually get concealment here. And then of course I want to get, not wellness, I want to get fitness to max out my O2 as well. And I want, probably want to get commerce here. Yeah, definitely commerce. And outpost man. Oh, I just need so much. I need a level. I need to focus on level and really uh, start getting my uh, outpost going. And then I can start looking at this stuff. Honestly, I'd get more uh, benefit uh, spending points in, in the into some of these combat trees more than um, well weapon engineering for one. Because just maxing up ballistics would across the board improve my DPS greatly. All right, so my mobility took a hit, but. Uh, Honestly, it's not bad. It still feels pretty good. So, yeah. So, this is how, uh, how I have my um, power allocated. So, maxing out engines and only going halfway up with shields. But that still gives me a lot of shield right there. So, I haven't... I don't have my, um, my Vanguard uh, cannons or whatever you call them maxed out. But, it still shoots really fast. And then, if you look at the top right of my reticle there, you see how fast it recharges still? So yeah, this is good. Take out a lot of stuff and look, my missiles. I can shoot off four before I run out. I gotta wait for that to recharge. But it takes a really long time for the missiles to recharge with only one bar of power allocated to it. But that's more than enough I need. Pro I could probably just be fine with just that. But I want, I'm, I'm gonna vary up my gameplay a little bit. So what am I gonna do this episode? Unfortunately, this episode is not gonna be as long as I'd like it to be because I spent hours just tweaking this ship. And I'm out of money, man. I'm down to 16,000 credits, so yeah, I need money. And honestly, I just want to see what my ship can do, so um, I want to do some mission boards taking out ships, and I want to do mission boards that I haven't done. Let's go to the UC Vigilance with uh, UC Sys Assist Def, and uh, see what missions we can get there. And if I remember correctly, they're stationed outside the key now. They used to be in the Soul System. And the key is in the Crick System over here. And they're floating around, so it doesn't show them here. So if you forgot where they are, man, you, it, it could be it could be rough trying to find them. You'd have to look them up. And there it is, right there. That's the big boy right there. A ship that big uses, I think, what is it, M class parts or something like that. That's not available without mods. Like a glove. Like a glove. I need a mod that makes it so that you break his collision to where you could just walk through him. Like, there's a mod for Skyrim that makes it so that you could just walk through your followers. Uh, the question is, I'm not sure where the mission board is, so let's find it. It's probably on the command deck. And I wonder if I have any more evidence I can sell to this, uh, her, whatever her name is. Okay, nothing about evidence. Uh, is she a shipbuilder? You've come to the right place. I guess so. Let's see what we can do for you. What reactors does she have? I'm gonna be mad if she's got something really nice. Uh, this is the reactor I'm using right... What? Oh, no, I, I got excited because you look up at where it says reactors is 54. It's adding this reactor on top of my reactor I already have installed. This is 27. You see it right under Dogstar, under Class C. Re Power generator 27, that's what I got. But she has this, 29. Not much of an improvement, two more bars, which really wouldn't make much of a difference to me, but I would have gone with this if I could have. 51,000. It only costs 4,000 more than this one, son of a bitch. And it's even a little bit lighter. Ah, well. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, if, I get, if I get the cash, which wouldn't be that hard. 51,000 is not that hard to get. If I get that before a new reactor unlocks, I'll probably just end up swapping this one out. Okay, so what do you figure these mission boards are? I can't believe it. We basically put an end to piracy. Yeah, I kind of. I wish I would have sided with the crimson, the crimson fleet, man. I would have loved. To Here's the mission boards. Like we lost out on the comm spike and that one other thing that helped your shields uh, generate a lot faster, and there was that nice cluster of merchants all in one area, and you really don't get anything much. For setting with the UC Sys def, man. Oh, well, let's see what uh, mission boards I got. There's only one mission here, man. Kill the Spacer Predator on Jaffa. Alright. Collect the bounty on the Spacer Predator. And of course, I'm gonna capture a ship. 
I need the money. All right, Vasco, let's go, man. Kind of wish it was like R2-D2 and just... At least... Oh, that was weird. At least his being like his size. Or, uh... You know, mounted outside the ship or something. Oh, that's why. That is a... That's a Crimson Fleet ship, man. What the hell is that doing there? That is so weird, man. The bug. This bug is so strange. Can I destroy it? Is it already destroyed? Guess it's just background. I can't target it. Alright, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I cannot wait to test it. I haven't tested out these weapons yet, oh, man. Jaffa. Okay, so I'm just in the system now, so now let's find where they are. Oh no, it's here. Oh, I'm going to a... Man, I wanted to blow something up out of the air. The last time we had to hunt someone down at a station, well, our target was outside the station, but I ended up just cleaning, clearing it out, and that took a while. I think Doris looks amazing. What do you guys think of Doris? Hello! And I gotta, like, I gotta run all the way around to get over here. Alright, what kind of planet we got here? Okay, water, copper, and tetrafluorides. Has one trait and three resources. We could probably get everything on our way to uh, the ship. Or this structure, rather. Look, you could really see the rings of that planet. That's cool. Was that a cave? That's a cave. Yeah, I mostly wanted to just do um, space battles this episode, really. Guess you should have read the message, message board better, huh? Okay, looks like our target's outside. Good. And it doesn't look like this is going to be some crazy underground facility. Tally ho! Went inside, huh? Boom! In your face! In your face! Oh god. Let's go over here. Granado! Yeah, dead. I'm about to die. You're gone. <laughs> okay, so not as many red marks at this one as the other one. And I got so much storage, I could just loot everything. I'm gonna find a balanced pack, though. Oh yeah, my powers. I keep forgetting about my powers. I'm not gonna jump down. Let's go through this. Let's go into the head. Alright, kill everybody, then loot. Take the power! Yeah, I need, I need to utilize that way more. My survivability will go up drastically. How long does this take to charge? It's still charging. He's dead. I also want to take the... Oh, wow, that hurt bad. Yeah, the perk that makes it so that my healing items do more. <laughs> it hurts, doesn't it? But he's just standing there. Whoa, yeah, friends! I'm alone! Where's Andresia? Someone shoot through the floor. 
space to pump bastard. That guy's elite 48. He might have good stuff. All right, we'll go with the big gun. Boom. <laughs> Actually, my power should be up. Grenade. And we're good. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Boop. I can't see. Boop. Take our leisurely time, reload, and kill them. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be using these powers way more. I think I killed everybody. What's this? Where's this go? All right, good. It's a dead end. All right, I'm gonna loot up. I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool. Okay, so this is the, what the Elite dropped. She dropped the Sturdy Advanced Deep Mining Space Suit. Ah, uh, 50% less damage from uh, melee damage is not so great. But she got a balanced boost pack. It doesn't look too horrendous, I guess. Maybe I'll put some mods on it and um, use that. And yeah, I'm going to release a separate video and showing you guys how to build the ship. It's not going to be my usual Let's Play style of ship building, but it'll be very clear and concise instructions on how to build it on your own. Okay, I found a fastened, refined ground crew pack. It is has 20 uh, carry capacity, less oxygen uh, consumption. It's a crew pack, but is it... What kind of pack is this? I don't think this pack has any boost on it at all. As soon as I unlock... Um, what is it? Boost pack modded 3 level, level 3. I think I could start adding to it. It looks good, though. I guess I'll take it. That's it for this station here, but is there anything that meets more than meets the eye? Like, is there another little subsection here or not? I wonder. If not, oh, it's a bug. It looks like I don't have to turn in the quest. I got uh, the quest turned in automatically as soon as I killed that guy. I'm now up to twenty-seven thousand credits. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I don't think there's anything of interest around here. I mean, I guess I could go investigate what this is. This looks like it might be a hab, or it could just be a storage container. I don't think it's a hab. Let's see. Why am I alone? Where's my followers? Alright. I do want to kill some ships, but there's this other activity I forgot to do that I wanted to do last episode. Something about a boot. Yeah, the boot. Travel to the den, turn in the boot. Let's see if there's a mission board there too, huh? Yeah, I could definitely do a better job with the rear view of that ship. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I think I can do better. The engines are just too symmetrically uh, arranged, I think. So all we gotta do is put the boot in a box, right? <laughs> there's a ship tech here, but I don't think there is mission boards here. Yeah, not that I'm seeing. I should be grateful that things are so quiet here. I know we're not a prior. Vanguard's here if you need us. Yeah, let's just check in. Okay, so here's the box. Hey, newbie. It's a nice set of boots you got there. They for sale? Uh. I'll give you, say, 500 credits for them. They'd look better on me anyway. I'd be tempted, but sell the boots to the worker, place the boots in the crate. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do. Trust me, you don't want these boots, man. The only thing that look good on you is a mask? That's rude. What's wrong with the ones that you're wearing? Nothing. I just want yours. <laughs> Something shady going on here. Trust me, you don't want these boots, man. I don't know. Looks like they're perfect. Sturdy, polished, and just my size. But fine. If you don't want to sell, it's your loss. Maybe I should sell them. What would happen? All right. Back again. Five hundred credits isn't even that good. I, I <laughs> I'm just curious. What what's with these boots? Like, what would happen if I put them in the crate? Would they just somehow show up uh, back to that guy in the well, or what? Or maybe something bad will happen to this guy. Let's give him the let's give him the boots. Great. I've been wanting a pair like that. Looks just my size too. To be honest, I might have gone as high as two grand. 
I'm not saying I ripped you off, but I'm sure as hell thinking it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Give me the two grand. I need the money. All right, back to the well. We'll pick up a mission board while we're in New Atlantis, too. I know I can get pirate missions there. There you are. Where'd you go? I was worried about you. The good thing about coming through airlocks is that I already automatically show up in the upper deck. Is our mutual acquaintance helping with the transition to this new way of life for you? Yes. I would say that... Oh, dear. Need a hand with something? Proper That's cool. I like having a Jay on board, though. More people on the ship, the better. And it's, an, it's unintentional that it's all women. You know what? I'm gonna stop by the bar too in New Atlantis, see what uh, pilots or crew members we have available there. I also forgot the mansion. I put some uh, shielded cargo here. I have 380 shielded cargo, and I situated it right there on either side. Ah oh, man, I just I like the design of the ship overall. I do like it. I wanted to use uh, a Stroud Eklund ha um, uh, cockpit. But it just wouldn't fit. I could probably do the clipping clip to force it, but I don't know what kind of collision issues it would cause in the cockpit itself. I may experiment just to see. But the thing about the Stroud Eklund cockpit, it extends a little bit further, so I definitely wouldn't be able to have these missiles here. And I don't know how it'll mess with the lines I have going on here, which I kind of like. And I'll probably keep it. I got so many available crew spots that doesn't matter between the engineering bay and and all that. Hmm. That is a shame. I would like to have understood this. And since I'm running by this mission board, let's go ahead and grab uh, some pirate destruction mission boards. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Reaper, yes. Kill the Space Sir Savage, that is not that. Deliver unusual stuff, deliver broadcast stuff. I might as well do this too. Wow, I don't have enough space to get this one. That's 910 cargo. I'll deliver those notes. I don't care. I'll do it. I'm also thinking about upping the difficulty to uh, very hard. Maybe after I start upgrading my weapon, my like ballistics or something. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's just do it. 20% more damage. I'm gonna do it. And I gotta kill 50 dudes. Yeah, raiding one of those big ass bases would, would not be a bad idea, huh? Never all day. All right, so uh, it's over here. Let's see what crew members we have. I, not, I don't have space on board. I mean, I could relocate uh, an, um, uh, Adrian, but I don't know. Not him. Wait a minute. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Okay, missiles and weapons. That's good. Damn. Guess I'll try someone else. Sorry, just browsing. Hey, not him. Good to see you. Okay. EM weapon specialists. Hello. I don't have EM. Oh, yeah, I do. That's for disabling mm. systems. Any vacancies on your crew? Wow, you have a very manly voice. Marika boards. You're back. What do you say? We Ballistics, you you? particle beams, and shotguns. So she's a good follower just to have following you. Uh, I guess. I'm prioritizing ship crew members. Hello. Outpost management. I'm good. That's Gideon again. All right, so yeah, Gideon's like the best uh, one right now. Stand up, Gideon, front and center. Hey, if you're looking for a weapon specialist, I can really use the work to pay off some debts. I gotta look up how that actually contributes to uh, my ship because it's not the same as as if I had, uh, you know, the perks myself. I don't know how it affects it, but yeah, I really want someone with shielding, cargo, and. Oh, that kind of stuff. Not necessarily offensive. My weapons Damn. are good, I think. Guess I'll try someone else. We'll know. So f we'll know for sure once um we go attack this pirate. I wonder what he's going to say. Are we going to lie? I'm not going to lie. I'll tell the truth if he asks. Oh, personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Good man. I delivered the boots. Yes, you did. You know how I know. The rain cloud over your head is all but gone. <laughs> Here, for your hard work. With a lady lock back on my side, I expect the business to be less bust and more boom. Boom. And let us never speak of those accursed moods ever again. Okay, man. How much money did he give me? I'm up to 31,000 now. I'm, I almost have enough for my new reactor. You need something else? Uh, let's go shoot that pirate out of the sky. 
Hmm, we're going to Copernicus. We've never actually been here. Okay, juice and everything is good to go. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Okay, he's right here. Let's go, Doris! Look at this sexy bitch! That's level 32. Look at that damage, man. Look at it. Set one missile. Boom! He's dead! He died out of the humanity! Okay. Take out this little guy first. Target the little guy. He's too far out of range? No. Okay, we got it. Look at this! One missile. Boom! Okay, we got this level 32 now. Actually, that's not level 32. Let's take this level 6 out. One missile! Boom! Alright. So it's not a single missile kill. Alright, how many more we got here? Alright, so let's take his shields out. Look how fast that shield is just gone. Lock? Uh... I'm um, uh, fumble fingers over here. Okay, boom. Take out his weapons first. Oh, he's behind me. Not good. He was having his way with me, man. His shields are coming back. I'm losing my composure. All right, now let's lock. Take out his weapons. Why is my EM weapons not working? Oh god. He's getting behind me. There we go. Now it's working. Am I not shooting my EM weapons? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Like when I have them locked. That's so weird, what? Okay, let's try doing this again. Target locked. He's not locked. Too far, maybe? No. Why am I not locking on him? Okay, locking. Yeah, it's not firing. Is it because I'm not behind him? Okay, something's goofy, man. Hmm. Like, I could easily destroy him. I don't want to destroy the ship. I want to board it. Look at it. It's basically dead. Oh, well. <laughs> um, like, look. My EM weapon's working. But when I had him target locked, it wasn't firing. I'm so confused. Okay, so you get pretty good, um, credits off of that. Like, if I wasn't focused on trying to, uh, board that guy, I, I would've killed him very quickly. Hmm. Okay, let's, uh, go deliver these notes to Garger and... There are always credits to be made from mining. Even if they are barely enough to get by. Okay, that's the mission board set. I don't think I've been here. We're asking everyone. Anything I can help you with? Let's repair my ship. Okay, sure. We'll take it. Let's see what ships I'm they sure sell here. Find... Anything interesting? The hoplite. That looks pretty cool. I like it. The polis. Oh, my ship carries more cargo than this thing, man. Same reactor I got. The Mustang. Meh. The Endeavor. Meh. Longsword. Staple of the UC Vanguard. 
The Murasami coloring is interesting. 470, crappy reactor. Got these engines that I like, though. These engines aren't uh, powerful enough to, you know, power a ship of my size, though. I like that color scheme, though. Pretty cool. Makes me think of a bumblebee without wings. This reactor's cheaper at this station, man. It's only 46000 here. Why would that happen to my first class citizen discount on New Atlantis, man? Okay, I still got some time. Let's go uh, see what Kelton Crush, that doctor that's studying that tree, what he's up to. It's 3.30 in the morning. He's over here looking at this tree. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. Okay. Well, I'm always eager to help, Kelton. You never seem to have all the information. If you're still paying, I'm listening. Nah, I'm always eager to help. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet, I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. Oh, yeah? They're listening. Listening? What does that mean? How does the tree listen? How do you know what's going on? I don't. Not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. It's the best we have to go on right now. Okay. But it's just a tree. That's a very reductive and borderline insulting way of looking at things. What, I offended the tree? This tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. It's looking for a girlfriend. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. We gotta do something fast. Sounds like it's time to cut the street down <laughs> to find bad news. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it will become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city. That's weird. To destruction. <laughs> that is so weird. Now, as of yet, there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go to Aquila City? That seems like a nice gesture. Didn't seem to help much in the long run. What a weird choice of peace offering. Nah, that's nice. Nice? Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. What? Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. People do it Clearly all the time. no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Oh. I guess that's... I guess that's unfortunate. So that's a dead end, pardon the pun. Uh, I kind of see how it's helpful, Boda. So that's a dead end, pardon, pardon the pun. Clever, but no, not necessarily. If there's seeds or something. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. I'll be back with it as soon as I get... And finally we've arrived. Why so impatient, Boda? All right, I'll be back with it as soon as I can. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. Let me guess, she's a hard ass? I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. Hopefully she's not oh, a hard ass. Off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Cool. I gotta tell you, I feel so good now that I've got a lot of storage on my ship. I don't have to be all delicate, precious with my looting.
I didn't install a shield disruptor either to contribute to my contraband smuggling. Not important right now, but eventually. I could probably jump over this wall, but meh. Late night in Aquila. Remember, stay clear of Gall Bank unless you're helping the marshal. Looks like the bank robbery's still going on. Eventually I'll do that. That'd probably be the next major quest line I do is the Freestar uh, Rangers guys. That just sounds cool, Freestar Rangers. So we're going into the museum. I'll probably have some choices here. I could probably steal it. Maybe I could seduce what's her name. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Co himself. Oh, this is the museum. We'll take a look around after we talk to her. She's got a safe behind her. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. I travel a lot. I could keep my eyes open for things in your museum. Hmm, that could be cool. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally. Come on, you meant literally. But I would pay a lot for. You see, the Co family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago. And those documents would be priceless to have here. I love this. There's so much to do in this game. How can you not like this game, man? How can people talk such crap about this game? I can see why you, uh, you'd want them in your museum. Depends on how much a lot is. What sort of documents are you looking for? Well, all of them were owned by our city's founder, Solomon Co. He's more than that, really. He's one of the greatest heroes of the settled systems. These documents would be, like I said, priceless to the museum and to our guests. Okay, I can see why you'd want them for your museum. Their absence pains me. Pains you? Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was... a troubled man. That doesn't sound good. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. I'll keep my eyes open, man. So searching randomly through the settled systems, this is hopeless. Maybe she'll give us a hint. It probably is, but I have to try. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. You've moved me. I will totally help you. Wait a minute. Do I have something for a museum? Let me see. Oh, dear Lord. It's real. It, it still exists. Oh, yeah. I had that. I this forgot where I got the it. the original charter for Aquila City. Where did I get that? And you can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core philosophy of limited government and inalienable rights. All here. Thank you. If you find anything 3, else, please come back. Did I steal that from the Free Star Embassy? Maybe that's where I got it? I don't remember. How's the museum going? There's no one here. Very well. People are proud of their history here, so we get more visitors than I was expecting. So it gets pretty busy here, especially with school field trips. Whoever uh, are the people, the group of people that's in involved with like Kayla, the designing, I'm talking about the programmers and developers here. I wouldn't be surprised that they're from Texas. You know, Bethesda, um, I think they're actually based out of so somewhere close to me, actually, somewhere in Austin, at least one of their branches. All right, tell me about this, uh, the city's history. Aquila City was founded over 150 years ago by Solomon Coe, a scientist and explorer from Earth. Along with other settlers, Coe built the structures you see in the part of the city we call the Core. Those proud buildings still stand today. The planet was dangerous, so they built a wall around their settlement. Eventually, they ran out of space and started building outside the wall. Okay. Uh, tell me about what so happened after much that. To see in here. Right? I know, I can't wait to steal everything. There were so many buildings that they had to build another larger wall, forming a second outer ring around the growing city. Sounds like a medieval city. Now, of course, the city didn't stop growing, and before long, the third yeah. wall, the outer wall you see today, was constructed. Today, Aquila City is the proud capital of the Free Star Collective, and the Council of Governors continues to meet here when they need to. All right, tell me about Solomon Cole. Most people know Solomon Co. as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Free Star Collective. He was an astrophysicist who lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming. Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Later in life, he designed starships 
And when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. Wyoming, huh? Sounds like he's a big deal. I find stories of the early pioneers fascinating. He sounds like a big deal. Absolutely. During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name too. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. Well, that's pretty cool. So I'd like to talk to you about a tree branch, if I may. That is not something <laughs> I expected to hear today. Right. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Okay, at least she's not a hard ass. I'm helping Mast, yes. I'm more of a private contractor working freelance. What sort of messages? Several that bordered on being incomprehensible. Honestly, I thought it was some kind of strange prank until now. A bunch of gibberish about dire consequences and frequency modulation and genetic reconstruction. It all came across as rather unhinged. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. Persuasion! That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. In storage, huh? Okay, convince Leia to hand over the branch or steal the branch. Stealing would be more fun, but I'll choose that as uh, option B, I guess. Your help in preserving and sharing Aquila City history is greatly appreciated. No drugs. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Are you sure? Look, it's just a branch, right? A dead piece of wood. Just let me take it off your hands for you. That branch is a vital piece of important xenobotanical work. It could be very annoying when I need it to be. <laughs> please, 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 please. I'll go with the third one here. It doesn't look like a hard check. All right, that branch is a vital piece. Hmm. I guess I don't want to impede anything important. Very good. I wonder if... It's more fun to fail these checks or just to do the other options? Or am I like basically persuading my, um, persuading myself out of like doing something fun and cool? I don't know. Hand it over now. If I don't get that branch, things could be disastrous for the people in New Atlantis. I can be very annoying if you don't give me that branch. I won't stop asking for it. All right, we'll go here. If I don't get the branch, things could be disastrous. I'm no fan of the UC, but I still don't want anyone to get it. Yeah, she seems like a good person. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Could have been more fun stealing it. Oh well. There's probably other things to steal, right, Andresia? Alright, so what what do we have here? I mean you'd think there'd be at least a, a magazine or something, right? You can't see me. I am hidden. Expert luck. I'm not scared. Alright, so we got some credits, some coolants, some shotgun shells, and a modified old earth shotgun. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't speak to me, so I'm gonna leave it. And succeed at that before we are discovered. You're gonna blow my cover, Andresia. Okay. So, what do I have here? Double bone horn. Look like it fell out the case. Whoa, look at that shotgun. Is it special? There's no plaque or anything on it. What's so special about it? Got a sextant. It got the free star ranger badges. 240. You could steal them. Kill a city charter. That's what we just sold her. Mercury cameras and binoculars. Extremely old world ship. Warning, wet floor. A violin. Is this where she sleeps? Sort of Demic Democles. And that opened up nothing. I guess these books that lead to uh, snow globes are somewhat rare. Is that it? Is that all there is to here? I guess so. There's books in here. Bad people. Bleak House. Nah. The Fruit Cellar. I guess that's it. Huh, well that was easy. Let's get back to fresh. That branch is the music. Um, if I could bring it back, I will. I like the lady, she was nice. Who's this guy? Oh, just a citizen. Hello, citizens. So I installed a mod that fixed a weird eye thing that was going on in the game. Turns out the ambient occlusion wasn't set for eye meshes or something like that. 
So it looked like everybody was bug-eyed. I'm going the wrong way. It's just over here. I'll probably release another video detailing my entire mod list. City has what I've got need. so many now. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? I did indeed, friend. Here, there's a museum director who doesn't like me very much. I don't know. I think she does like me. All right, she wants it back when you're done. Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Uh -huh. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I don't think it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. Anything happen? So... We now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. I don't have much of a singing voice, but I could try. Okay, how do we play this? An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. You want me to hack it, don't you? We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but... If you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. Sounds simple enough. That seems legal. I don't care. And uh, we're not considering that's not going to work. I'll take care of it. I have no doubt that you will. Okay. I guess we're going all the way over here. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> I took a shortcut. I am glad there Guess we're going in there. Source of news in the certain systems, though it often travels significantly slower than the light. Let's talk to her. Do you have a story for me or not? Maybe. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. Who's David Barron? To burst. I'll, uh, knock him down a few notches. How about that? David seems like a vain egomaniac. Hey, nice to meet you, too. What's your problem with David? Who are you? She's bored. Who are you? A cog in the machine. If you mean literally, Nadia Mufaz. Head researcher of the office. So, if we got any facts wrong, I'm the one who files your complaint into the shredder. Well, at least she's honest. What's your problem with David? We spend hundreds of hours digging into stories. Sorting the lies from the damned lies. The damn lies. And David performs a two-minute segment and wins an award. That bastard. Who'd have a problem with that? You sound a little jealous. Yeah, he seems like a vain egomaniac. Sounds like you know him personally. Nope. Let's take a look at you. I'm pretty handsome. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. Well, I'm not like a plumber or anything. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. I have quite a few stories, actually. My life has gotten very weird and interesting lately. I'm always eager to help the press. No, I'm not. I always wanted to be famous. I can't promise you that. <laughs> if your story checks out, your name may not be in the final copy. But I have the feeling you might be one day. You see Vanguard. I'm interested only in primary Fleet Pirate. Sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. Oh, come on. Please let me use this. So, what do you got for me? All right, look at all this other stuff. This is cool. All right, what stories are you working on right now? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. Yeah. Well, I'll be willing to do the interviews for you. I, I would. Yeah, I, gu I guess I am. Really? You sure? The well's a pretty dangerous place. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. I'm a reporter now. Reporter Boda. I'm on the scene. Uh, if I help you out, will you give me some credits as co-Arthur? Who do I look like? David Barron? Uh. Yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. 
credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Okay, we need the money. Consider it done, lady. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. I'm familiar with all of those places. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. Cool. I really can't thank you enough. Now let's see if I can save, make some money from my past exploits. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. Yeah, she's really looking at me, peering into my soul. I, I wanted to ask this though, how, how do you like working for SSNN? We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention, there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. Well, as long as you're having fun. That's what it's all about, right? What's David really like? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. I'm just checking he's a boxes. He's smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC. And that's a problem for us staying impartial. Mm, yeah. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. Yeah, I know a lot of people like that, actually. Hmm. All right, let's start from the top. Well, I was at the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis. Really? Yeah. To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. Well, I was directly what involved. What was your role in that? I killed the suckers. I personally took out those uh, terramars. I pretty much saved the day. Together with the UC security, we managed to put those killing machines down. I'm in the UC Vanguard and was investigating recent terramorph activity. Mm, uh, this one, I'm taking all the credit. This one's sharing some credit. This one, I'm letting the, her know that the Vanguard did their part. All right, we'll go with this one. The Vanguard was involved. That's good to know. Yeah. The whole city is still on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was it like in the thick of things? Feels pretty hectic, man. Terrifying, it takes a lot of firepower. That's true, to take out Terramorph, I just focused on protecting the civilians and staying alive. I didn't have to think. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about civilians. I was just running around like a chicken with its head cut off. I felt alive when everything was on the line. Every moment seems like a gift. That too. Let's go with this one. You never know quite how precious life is. Until it's under threat. Very true. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck, the whole UC, owes you a great debt. I got a penthouse. Any closing comments? And I'm first I citizen. I have a good story here. A closing comment. I can't sleep at night because who knows when Dermar's going to be back. Everyone uh, needs to know the man behind it, Bay Victus. Interesting. The Terramorph Management Division has been created to make sure it never happens again. I'm not going to outvey Victus. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Terror Morph Man the TMD has been created to make sure it never happens again. That's a mouthful. A thankful you guys are around mouthful. Cool. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news, but you really are one. 1200 credits? Not bad. You talk and get paid, I spread the news. It's a classic win win. All right, the Crimson Fleet attacked an Argos mining facility on Vectera. That was at the very beginning. I think Barrett is still at Vectera, and I think I have a mission about that. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. Yeah. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Oh, yes. I'm not quite sure I have heard this entire story. Yeah, we have met you at that time. Constellation commissioned to dig. The Crimson Fleet wanted the proceeds. I have no idea. Just classified. We were mining beryllium, iron, and some rare minerals. Easy credits for them. Now we'll go here. Constellation commissioned to dig. The Crimson Fleet wanted the proceeds. Bad blood between the fabled Constellation and the Crimson Fleet? Yep. Has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? I was in the wrong place at the right time, I guess. A right place at the wrong time, whatever. I had to keep my name enrolled. Nope. I ran the whole dig. <laughs> Supervisor boat at your service. I was one of the miners. I worked for Argos, now I'm with Constellation. Yeah. Wow, an actual member of Constellation graces my office. Yeah. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. 
How about any harrowing tales of daring do? Hmm. How'd a bunch of miners triumph? Well, we picked up our weapons, braved the, the pirates, and uh, took them out. I took points in defense with my handy mining laser. Killed a whole lot of them single handedly. The mining crew banded together and fought them off with the mining lasers. We had help Barrett, a member of Constellation, and his robot Vasco. Alright, I want Vasco to get some credit. How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. How much money? And take this to cover any incidentals or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. 1200. Looks like it's about 1200 uh, credits and 50 XP. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. This is probably the biggest story I got. I was there at the big battle between Sis Def and Crimson Fleet. Of course you were. Why wouldn't you be? I swear you're either a trouble <laughs> magnet or something. I'm something. So, Sista finally, and against all odds, really triumphed against the Crimson Fleet. In their own backyard, no less. Yep. How were you involved? I was working undercover for Sista. I brought the fleet down from the inside. That's true. I was part of the Sista operation, worked with Commander. Nope, don't care. Forget Akande. Let's just say I was there for the big fight. Nah, I was working undercover, lady. So what do you do for an encore? <laughs> Kill Terramorphs. So, the Vigilance went toe-to-toe -to -toe with everything the Crimson Fleet could throw at them. Don't forget the Razor Leaf. Somehow, almost miraculously, they captured the key. The key itself. Okay, that I did single-handedly. I've confirmed that with many sources. Anything to add? Yeah, the entire defense people were just at the entrance while I was running through, running and gunning. I was part of the team that actually captured the key. Sis Steph captured a treasure trove and that left the Crimson Fleet vulnerable. I took the coordinated effort of many people for the operation to succeed. Hmm. This is where I would take all the credit, but it won't let me. All right, I was part of the team that captured the, the key. Someone seriously owes you a beer. Hell, a keg. A few more credits, too. You have to feel good about how everything turned out. Commander Ikande is being hailed a hero. And Sis Def's popularity is at an all-time high. Your thoughts? I'm just wondering what would happen if I would have sided with the Crimson Fleet. What would I be telling her? Sif Steph was successful in finally writing the wrongs of the past. Commander Kondi deserves this. No, he doesn't. Kondi didn't try for a triumph alone. I was instrumental in the victory at the key. Yeah, man. I will make sure the story emphasizes that. People need to know that. They do. And that's all I need. You really do lead an extraordinary life. It's not even over yet. And as a, well, possibly embarrassing personal note, thank God for you. Yeah. 1,200 credits. Very nice. What's my credit set now? 43,000. Almost got enough for that new reactor. I wonder if I actually need it, though. I'm kind of doing okay. Maybe I should just wait for the next upgrade. Um, I gotta, uh, get in here. Uh, looks like I don't need to sneak. Broadcast diagnostics. Run the diagnostics. No diagnostics found. Upload the file. File found. Upload the audio. Cool. That was easy. I'm surprised people aren't pranking here. Why is this still highlighted? Oh, now it's running. Alright, kind of did in reverse order. Alright, I guess we're going back to Crush. Crush, whatever his name is. The there he is! We've done it! We did? What'd we do? already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. Can we talk to it? I can hardly believe that worked. Okay, what happens now? I thought you were sure that was going to... What's, what happens now? I don't know. We don't know! We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. I hope this isn't an end. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. You should name our friend. And you. You have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis. Though they don't know it. 7,000 credits. Nice. Cool. I'm up to 50,000. If we go back to, uh, that planet, I could get that new reactor now, I think. It was like, what, 48,000? Nah. 
I am starting to run out of time, but I want to do one more ship battle. So what do you guys say we do one more pirate battle from a mission board? Yeah. Let's see if this refreshed. Killed a spacer predator. No, deliver, transport, supply. I know a mission board where we definitely get pirates. And we're at my outpost. And we're gonna go to my personal mission board. I remember seeing it at least like three. Nope. I don't need to clear a bounty. Alright, destroy the Crimson Fleet Reaper. So here's one. Here's two. Yeah. Let's do these two. Shouldn't take long. Um, I will experiment to see if um, I can actually fire while targeting, having them under tire, uh, target lock. Because I'm wondering if I'm bugged out or something. We're going to Karane. And here they are. It's that course. Could it's a fleet. Spectre. Doris is so fine. I'm glad she is mine. Look at this, man. Boom! Missile. Alright, so that's done, but there's another pirate ship over here. We gotta take it out. Coming in from the side. Gotta get closer. Yeah, they didn't even eat through my shields, man. I forgot to put stuff into my missiles here. I just need one. Oh well. Alright, let's go kill the other one. Yeah, that was that was easy. That was so much fun. Now we're going to the McClure system. Okay, so we are now in system. And they're right here, right next to us. Yeah, these Vanguard weapons are so freaking awesome, man. Look at that, I just chew through the shield like it's nothing. Since there's two ships, let's just destroy this one. Boom! Missiles! Alright, let's get this guy. Aw, oh, this is only level 6. Alright, locking, 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 locked! Wow, I totally tore him up! <laughs> All right, cool. All right, guys. So there you have it. I'm feeling pretty good about my de my defensive and my offensive abilities now. I think we're ready to move forward. I'm gonna concentrate on um, getting my outpost built so I could get all the resources I need to do all my research and stuff. So yeah, things are good. So yeah, wanna get a bunch of levels, spend a bunch of perks. So thank you, for, uh, thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I hope you had some fun. I mean, we're just messing around this episode, but it was fun, didn't you think? I thought it was fun. So tell me, what do you think of Doris? Be honest, tell me, I know. And, you know, remember, this is a work in progress. There's things I need to do still. So have a great day. Thank you so much for your support. I love you. And I'll see you in the next episode.